Hello, this is uh, Mick Chung 88 and today we are going to talk about binding the SciTech X55 Rhino joystick to Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, so first thing you need to do obviously is go to madcats.com uh, uh, downloads and um, download the drivers and the software. Uh, we're not going to use any sort of .dll files or anything like that, we're just going to use what's given by Mad Cats himself and um, the functionalities we can use within Grand Theft Auto 5. So Grand Theft Auto 5 you can only use uh, Xbox pad or mouse and keyboard and because flight stick can't bind to the Xbox pad we're going to bind it to the mouse and keyboard. Uh, once you have the software installed the easy part would be to go to program and say for instance a trigger here and bind that to say the spacebar. Go OK to that. Call it untitled. Um, try that. Now, if you actually move the joystick, it will take you to the different functionality. So we've got twist here. Uh, I'm going to make this simple for the twist. So I'm going to do a band, a twist band, and we're going to have A on this side and D on this side and basically in the middle we're just going to leave that blank. Okay, so what that does is when we twist it's going to depress A and D. Okay, now next you're going to find out where the X and Y axis is and on the X and Y axis we're going to bind that to the mouse X and the mouse Y. Okay, uh, and you can basically test this with the test button so you can see that it's moving the actual stick itself the mouse, I mean, and if I twist, it will press A and D, and the fire, the space bar for sure. Okay, clear that, okay with that. And uh, next thing we want to program is the flight stick, so how do we get th um, an analog, or, or well, uh, 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 the thruster to work, like, um, you know, within the game. So. We're going to pick the right throttle and we are going to change that to bands again but instead of going for the default 3 what we're going to do is uh, highlight the middle which will highlight edit bands which I don't know why they hit that so we edit bands, clear that and we can basically put we're going to put 4 for now and basically just go through this quickly with you uh, and then I'll load up my actual profile which I've actually split into 10 different segments. Um, because, oh, right, because this is um, slightly different uh, for the percentages, um, 80 to 100% is back, which is which I have it as off, and I push up to have the throttle on. Uh, so if you want to reverse that, you can. So obviously, because I want back to be off at 80 to 100%, I'll leave that blank. And click OK, sorry. And then on here, uh, you want to set that as W, so that's basic commands. So that's 100%. Now, uh, on this uh, next throttle, if you select advanced commands, you can pick W press it on the repeat section and you can set a time delay so 0.2 seconds oh, 0.2 seconds for the depress amount time and delay between presses I am going to set that to 0.2 also okay so that means 0 0.2 0 0.2 equals 0 0.4 overall and for this one I would set that um, max macro W. I will set the delay before pressing at point four. Actually, probably a bit more than that because it's a small band. So just say point A and point two. Okay, and I'll just quickly do this one as well. Oh, and okay, point. Okay, so if we do a test with that, 
you can see I throttle up and it starts pressing the W and I'll press it some more the more I push up until full, full throttle and it's constantly holding it down okay and also you can map all the other buttons to whatever you want to map them to uh, I have this as um, engine off or um, basically get my helicopter to come down uh, so note to saving that and I'll load up my profile. I'm going to supply this profile in the link below so you guys can uh, basically just grab it and play around and edit with it the way you want. Um, so I have this is engine off and this is engine off. Um, obviously whatever f function you find useful you can do yourself. Also and um, under settings I've actually changed uh, the flight for X and Y uh, to be this curve, so it goes slow and f slow and fast out. So that can control the speed of uh, the amount that you turn on your flight. Okay, and that's well. The rudder I haven't bothered because it's just on or off anyway. So now that we've got this set up. Uh, we are going back into uh, GTA and you will see nothing is happening so far apart from the throttle. There is no noise control. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back in programming and we are going to test uh, the profile out. Okay, so you get the profile window up. Then we go back in game, you'll see that the, the, I am actually controlling the. Um, look at with my stick which isn't what we're after so what you need to do next is go into settings uh, keyboard and mouse and change the default mouse driving control to uh, vehicle flight vehicle and submarine vehicle uh, for the helo I've actually turned down sensitivity because I found it um, I found it was a bit too um, too sensitive and uh, Input. I'm not sure what the original was, but that's what uh, my settings are. Okay, so now if we go into the game, we'll find that I am controlling. Look at the wheels, you can see it moving. The car vehicle. Lifestyle management, how can I help you? Thank you, madam. Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. Okay, I'm sure um, all the settings should work with um, steering wheels and so on. Obviously, you uh, don't really want to use a stick for input. Um, so, you know, the, uh, the side tech, what a easy call. Anyway, I found one of the switches to uh, the cat so we can do the different views. So we're going to take off. So we're going to cut up. Okay, so basically we are going to go to the airport. Uh, as you can see, this all works. Okay.
so now that we've got out, uh, actually I'll show you where you can get a helicopter if you haven't got your own. Uh, watch out for the rotary blades at the back of the helicopter because uh, you can get wasted using it. Oh yeah, the other reason I have the throttle all the way down for as a neutral position rather than using it for S is um, basically I don't want to find the, the midpoint for pressing down the W. It's getting this thing. Oh, wow. Only it's the old tiny uh, planes are here. ladders on that side of the building and that was that wasn't what I expected that happened. Oh that's handy, we're at the hospital. Uh, anyway, let's head up the ladder. It's going to cost me another 200 to call my helicopter back out. Oh, great. There's no helicopters. I'm sure there was one a minute ago when I came around. But normally the, 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 the helicopters are sit um, on these spots. They might spawn. Um, you can wait around. Normally there is a helicopter here. I've never really had a problem getting one. So basically, if you guys um, like the video, click on the like button, obviously, and um, if you found it helpful or you've got any better tips for me, uh, let me know and um, put it on your comments below. So thank you for watching and um, maybe see you in GTA.